Sharon, and welcome back to Creative Glam. I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you're having a blessed day. Today, I'm excited to participate in a fall DIY collab with Christy Mail and with some other wonderful bloggers here on YouTube that are participating. Christy has an awesome and glam channel here on YouTube. I will link her channel below. In this collab, she only requested that we do a fall DIY. So today on Creative Glam, we're going to do a fall door hanger wreath. Every year I like to do, not every year, but every season, I like to do a wreath for my front door. I enjoy doing them and I try to do them a little different, something a little outside the box. With the farmhouse glam trend that's going on right now, I thought that, um, that I do a door hanger wreath. I think that would be very pretty for fall. So I'm excited to get started. Um, this is my frame. As you have seen in my, um, you saw in my haul, I got this frame from Joanne Fabrics. I've got some natural branches here that I'm gonna use to make something like a swag. I've got my, flaw, uh, my flowers and my pumpkins that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I've got some letterings that I got here from Michaels along with some um, floral wire to adhere it actually to the frame. So let's get started. see that? Does it look like hello? Okay, I'm just trying to make sure I have the spacing the way that I'd like it to be. I actually feel like I could bring these in just a I like it. My thought in my mind is that I would take these and make them, I, that I would take, my thought in my mind is that I would take these and make it into like a swag. trying to be gentle but there's really no way to be gentle with this it's not the easiest stuff to work with I should have gloves on with this this is one of the reasons I didn't do my nails just yet I had a feeling it was gonna be not so good for your manicure down here I want to break up that color pattern and I think instead I'll do the black eyed Susan the brown black eyed Susan just to break up that color down here towards the bottom Now I want to add some pumpkins. I'm going to hot glue my pumpkins on. Just add a little hot. 
hot glue to the bottom of my pumpkin and I can sit that. I want another colored pumpkin. I have one from last season that I'm going to use. Okay, now before before I adhere the swag to the actual door hanger, I'm going to add my picture hooks on each side so that I can actually hang it on the door. It'll be a lot easier to do that before I attach my door hanger. Luckily, it's a soft enough wood that I can just um, screw them right in this side. I've decided to use this ribbon instead of the burlap wrap ribbon because the burlap ribbon is just too uh, dent, too bulky. So I've decided to use a um, smaller ribbon. I'm going to tie one end around the eye and like again I'm doing this before I attach the um, swag because it's going to be it's just going to be too cumbersome. Okay. Now I'm gonna go and attach, I'm gonna go measure this on the hanger to find out how much to attach the other side by. Be right back. Okay. I thought I was recording, but apparently I wasn't. I just fished the wire. I, I cut four pieces of wire and fished them through the other side of the um, door hanger or what I'm using as a door hanger so that I can place my swag in between and then now I'll just take the wires and attach them Okay guys, I'm just about done. I got the swag attached by uh, using the wires. I, I, <clears throat> I uh, attached it at four different points. One, two, three, four. So that I can, you know, so that do it doesn't fall off. Now the last thing that I have to do is attach my little scarecrow. I'm gonna hot glue him down here to the lid here. Okay, all done. That is so cute. Look at his little legs dangling. I thought that was so cute. It says, hello fall. I love it when, when an idea comes to fruition. This turned out exactly the way I wanted it to turn out. And I am very pleased. I think it is beautiful. I think it's super cute. I think it's very fallsy. I think it falls right in line with the farmhouse glam that's on trend right now.
beautiful. I want to thank Christy Mel for allowing me to participate in her fall DIY 2017 collab. I had a great time. Don't forget to go check out the other channels and tell them Sharon of Creative Glam sent you. I want to thank you all so very much for tuning in. I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to thumbs up. And don't forget to come back next week. Bye.